trying to film a picture here of the uh, mature larva crawling out of my bug barn into the drop tube. You can, you can, you can hear them clunking into the uh, plastic bucket. There's like a, a jillion of them here. Hard to see in this light, and I apologize for that, but uh, see the funnel works pretty good. Funnels them right there, went one right down there, down to the drop tube. A lot of them down here crawling up. If I close the lid, it uh, tends to increase the humidity, gets a little moisture on the ramp, and it makes them easier for, for them to crawl. But, uh, Plunk. Yep. Here goes another one. Don't know if you can hear them dropping into the bucket, but uh, about every one or every two or three seconds, there's several of them inching their way towards the drop tube. It's kind of cool to watch these things self-harvest like this. Boom. Here goes one. He's going for it. Yep, there he goes. Anyway, pretty cool. Thought I'd share that with you. You can see the immature larva. They're thick. There's like a couple hundred thousand of them in this bin. It's a huge bin. But uh, they're also Filtered up towards the drop tube. They're not quite as uh, many of them migrating out of here, probably because it's not quite as humid. I waited a little later to close this one up for the night. But, uh, anyway, you can see all the way down there, there there's just grubs everywhere. Pretty cool. bucket with water here. So I'm going to try a little ad hoc experiment. I'm going to dump this water down one ramp in the bug barracks. Do the other ramp uh, just as is. I want to increase the moisture level on the ramp and add humidity to that one side of the, uh, of the bug barracks. And we'll see... Uh, whether or not I get higher crawl off from that end that has the more moisture to it. Yeah, I'm back here at the bug barracks. Just going to scoop away a little bit just so you can see how many bajillion grubs there are in this thing. And I'm going to pick up this bucket of water. It's hard to do this with a flashlight in one hand. Pardon the uh, poor video, but I'm going to pour some water on the ramp and down here at the end. It's all going to drain to the bottom. This is an open bottom bin, so it'll drain right to the ground. It won't create any problems. But uh, in the morning, I'm going to do a follow-up just to check how many grubs were collected from this side of the bin as opposed to the more natural humid humidity uh, side. I've already removed the uh, bucket where they crawl off, and you can see a pretty good crawl off from uh, from here last night. Let's go check the bug barracks next. Yeah, I decided to check the pupil harvest on my biopod. Got a few of them in there. We'll add that. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is harvest from the 
bug barracks this morning. I'm gonna come over here. This is the side that I did not add the water to last night. So we'll check that one, and then uh, this is the side that I did add the water to. We'll see which one. I can tell already by the weight. This one has more larvae in it. So we'll open these up and check it out in a second. shows you the larva that were harvested. It was the dry side of the bug barracks, the side I did not add water to. And that's fairly typical, maybe a little bit on the light side of the crawl off from that side. But over here, the side that had the humidity added in, the water on the land, you can see it's got to be easily three times as many larva that, uh, that came out of that side. That shows a pretty graphic uh, proof of the difference that humidity makes, uh, the moisture ramp makes it easier for them to crawl up. And the fact there was more moisture in the substrate, I think, caused more of the mature larvae to emerge. So I'm going to go ahead and add these to my collection bucket over here. Then we'll go weigh the bucket and we'll estimate what our total grub take was today. here. It's got an adjustment on knob, a knob on it so that I can put an empty bucket on it and calibrate it to set the uh, reading to zero, which we got it zeroed out right now. So I've got the tear weight of the container adjusted. An identical container, the one that I collected the larva for today in. We'll set that on there. And I don't know how well you can see it. Works out to about one pound, two ounces. So call it 18 ounces of larvae. And by the counts that I've done uh, over the past months, I've pretty much determined there's, they're a little bit better than uh, 2,500. I think I figured it was 2,525 2, larvae per pound. So uh, 18 ounces is a pound and an eighth. Should be something on the order of uh, 2,840. Not a bad day's haul. All right, now what I've got here are a couple of pupation buckets. And basically I dump my mature larvae into these. Uh, I, I've got two or three inches of pine shavings on top. If I dig down in, you can see down here at the bottom the, uh, the larva that I've collected over the past few days. There's a, this is a newer bucket. I think it had one day's worth of larvae in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, add just a few more pine shavings here. Give them a little thicker uh, surface to go hide underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and take today's larvae that we harvest. All right, and you can see them squirming around on the top here. We'll come back in about 10 minutes, and I think we'll find that they've all burrowed down to hide underneath that dry sawdust, that dry, those dry pine shavings. shavings. Uh, we'll come back and check them again in a few minutes. Well, as you can see, my cat's enjoying the sunshine out here on the lanai this afternoon. And it's been about an hour since I took a picture of these uh, mature soldier fly larvae. And as you'll recall, we dumped over a pound in there, and there's only a few stragglers that are still on top of the sawdust. All the rest of them have burrowed uh, down inside quite deeply, as a matter of fact. you got to go quite a ways down to get to them, but uh, I'll tell you there's a bunch of them in there. Anyway, thought you guys might be interested in seeing the uh, mature larva harvesting technique.